Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of FIFA 22 and the Sir Francis Drake FC playthrough. Interesting last bit of the month here in December. We're coming off an episode full of injuries. We're going on the road for a couple of games, and we got a couple at home. 50-50 day for us. We'll go on the road against Norwich first. We got Crystal Palace at home, then a week off. Then we'll take on Everton on the road, and then we get Newcastle at home. With all that said, we can look at kind of what we got going up. Norwich is ahead of us on the table, and you can see the top part of the table here. I would love to get a win on them, and that would actually put us ahead of them into the top 10. Newcastle, Everton, and Crystal Palace are all below us, so we do have an opportunity to get points to get today, but it is going to just... We do have days between, so hopefully being wore out is not the issue. Um... The way that we've kind of slotted everybody around on the bench it does seem like, you know, we got Amaral earlier. He can come in for Nordahl and Alonzo. We've got the young uh, Garrett who could come in as well. We also could pull people off the bench. Landon Eddy is done for the season. Bravo will be back in February, probably early February or late January, depending on how the game does that. It will take time for him to get up the form. I'm just hoping it doesn't damage his status or anything like that. But that is kind of where we're sitting right now. I do think we've got the bench and the team that can really push for top half of the table. So that's what we're going to go for. Again, if you're enjoying this series and you enjoy me, go ahead and hit that like button down below because it does help me. It helps the channel. It helps you. And you'll feel good about yourself when you do it. Also, if you're not subscribed, click it. Anyways, let's get to the first matchup. All right, Norwich on the road today. They look like they got a weak goalkeeper in. Lee Thomas, he is... 73 overall, five in the back, kind of, but it's more like a 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. Rodrigo uh, Famuo Kelly Sorensen, uh, CDM is Dardai. Simone Gerhardt Ferguson and Lookman, and then they've got Louis Berry up front. Uh, we're back to the normal lineup. Uh, I can't say that, though, because we do have injuries. Cambiaso, Royo, Carvajal, and Morientes in the back line. Julio Alonso starting, Nordahl starting, Fernandez, Broya, Broya. Cornick and Timmerman out there for the Drakes. All right, Cairo Road. I'm still learning all the stadiums and stuff. I know I played like a number of seasons, but we had the switch jerseys. They had us in our greens and them in the yellow, and I was like, oh, my God, I'll go blind looking at that. Evidently, one of their players is coming back after a big injury, so we'll have to keep an eye on him. Good interception there by Cambiasso. Play that up, the Broya. Don't lose that, but we will recover. Are we all? See if we can pass that in. Oh. We just give it right back up. I didn't try to do that pass there, but it just did that. And they will turn it over. Timmerman. Nordahl looking. Ah, uh, Nordahl, that's the second pass he's done like that. So we're going to have to be careful. I mean, he's got his big, uh, the spot's his for at least two months. This will determine probably whether we keep him or not. Uh, so he's probably got a lot of pressure on him to, uh, to not give it up. And we've given the ball up here in a bad spot. Sanchez gets that. Thankfully, that would have been embarrassing. We'll play this up. Let's see if we can do something here. Cornick. Oh, yeah, just playing that out. Bringing it back a little bit. Go up to Nordahl. Cornick. And Cornick puts it in there. What a shot. Holy cow. Oh my, I didn't even imagine that. That move, that defender, he had cement shoes on. Cornick just twisted him in the next Tuesday. And then he just like power shots it off the post in the goal. No chance. Drake's lead 1-0 due to Cornick. That, that was awesome. That was, I did not even plan that, but it worked out. 1-0, let's go. Played over the top here. Brilliant ball. 
Head that away. Oh my god! We headed it right to him, and Sanchez not happy about that. Headed right out to Lookman, who takes a weak shot. But Sanchez, in the he was Johnny on the spot there. They'll get a corner. And we'll stay alive. Looks like they're going to go short. We'll send Cambiasso out there for defense. Oh, they fooled us. Royo, got to get that out. That's not out enough. Got the Broya. We'll go over the top. We got Edson Fernandez out there. Fernandez cuts in. Hornick again. Oh, it was just a bad shot. Looks like he caught it wrong. It's a Fernandez, and what a block by Thomas. That was a powerful spot. I thought Edson had that one. What a, what a save. We'll get the corner, though. Timmerman sends it in. Oh, that was close. Nordahl again. Had a chance. Let's see how close it was. Just a little less off of it. He knows it. Approaching the end of the half. Now let's see what they can do here. They are trying to get one last attack. Oh, Julio Alonso blocked that, but it goes right to them. Oh, this is bad. I knew it. I knew as soon as we missed that, in extra time, they'll tie it up. And there's just something about this difficulty that does that. One mistake is all it took. I knew when I went this way and he had that ability to turn, he was going to put it in the goal. There's just, there's something about the computer. When they do that, it's going to be a goal. We're going to go into the locker room 1-1 at halftime. Ooh, got a good shot off there, but he just misses wide. I was actually paying attention. They showed that Lloyd Galliard, and that was that free agent that's like 20, and he's like 90-something overall, and some team's making a bid on him. I don't know who, though. But it's just like, I feel like those guys break the game. I, I wish they would remove them. Let's see what Timmerman could do here. Good ball movement. Uh oh, that was that was bad ball movement. Hornick had a terrible first touch. Alonzo. Guess it's a good thing we didn't sell Alonzo. Oh, bro, yeah. And that's gonna be a goal. Bro, yeah, you can't stop it when he gets that close. He's winding it up, winding it up. Two one, Drake's lead. Just pushed off his defender, and that's one of the reasons why I liked him, is he was stronger than a lot of those other strikers we went for. And once he got that space, he just kept it low, went across the keeper. 2-1 Drake's lead here in the second. So both of our strikers have set up today. You love to see it. Let's just see if we can hold on to it. And Cambiasso will play defense, and we'll get our subs in there. They'll take Gerhard out. They're going to bring in Adshead. Broya and Nordahl out. Ribeiro and Amaral in. Oh, Cambiasso again. Play that up. Amaral, great move there. Kornick. Great ball movement here. Oh, and Amaral just couldn't hold on to it. Oh, we had such a great play there. But it comes down to the final and they're going to turn that over. It's about five to go. We're not going to push it too hard here. We've got to win. We just got to hold on to it. Harry Kornick. Ribeiro. Oh, Ribeiro just fighting for it. Well, they 
And time running out here. And they're going to call him offside, I think. So we should be able to waste this. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ribeiro, and Ribeiro takes a shot. It's blocked. And that's going to be it. We're going to get three points at Norwich, and I will definitely take that. Both of our strikers, Broya and Kornick, showing up big today, and I will take that. That was the game I was actually worried about the most, and we come up really well on that one. Good job, team. We control ball possession, more shots. We kept them under 100 passes. I feel like that's good defense. That means we kept the ball more. I guess that's why I weigh heavily on that one so much. All right, Crystal Palace today, Mueller in goal. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Foke over here. They got a 4-3-3 going on. Kelly uh, Bornal, Cabrera out there on the left back. Uh, Thomas Partey, uh, CDM, Planis, and Kamada. Uh, Dennis Mann, I, I wanted it to be Dan so bad. Uh, Robert Street starting at striker today, and Akbunar. This is the team that had Weya who smoked us last time. He is actually out injured. Actually, a number of their players, both Akbunar and Man here are right wings. Their left wing and their strikers out. So it looks like the injury bug is hitting every team this year. Uh, we've got a couple of subs in today for fresh legs. Uh, Cambiaso Akoto starting today. Carvajal Morientes. We got the youngster Jake Garrett in. Danny Faria get his first start today. Fernandez Broya Ribeiro in. And then Thomas Kiss. So lots of changes for us. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can All right, we'll kick it off here. See what we can do. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And I'm really excited about just the team has just been playing a little bit different lately. Oh, and the kiss taken down. That's got to be a card, yeah. Oh, Thomas uh, Fouquet gets that booking. Let me turn the uh, sound down. You all get to see what I'm watching there. Uh, that was a rough tackle. I hate that Windows does that. It shows like your big sound bar and stuff. This kills me. And we couldn't get a hold of that. And they're trying to counter, but they're slow to turn. Get it out the man. We're a little dispersed here, and I don't like it. Jake Garrett runs over, tries to distract him. He's going to take a big shot, and Sanchez has to make a diving save for it. And Sanchez has done well this year. I know he's let the couple goals in, but, I mean, what keeper doesn't? But over Mamadashvili, I think he's been a superior. You all may think different. You'll let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, you all love to do that. Let's send uh, Fernandez out here to defend. They're going to go long. And, uh, oh, God. See if we can play this one up. Here's Ribeiro. Oh, that was a bad pass from Ribeiro, but Thomas Kiss is on the run. Oh, and we just couldn't get to it. He was he got forced out. It was well defended there. Morientes tried to head that over. And we're back to playing defense again. Well, he's very much a confidence player. At the moment, his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games. And I think we'll get that. Oh, we just robbed him. Let's see if we can play this one up. The Bureau. Good movement here. Oh, Ribeiro hit from behind. Oh, good defense. Ribeiro holds on to it. Now he must favor the cross. Oh, it didn't look like... I thought he was trying to cross it in to Faria, but it almost went in the goal. The keeper had to jump up for it. Ribeiro. Oh, Ribeiro. Oh, come on. And Ribeiro is down from that. And that's not what I wanted to see. They've ran into him all day. That's a terrible shot, and we'll have to check on Ribeiro. He is hurt. I'll bring Korn again just for safety precautions. I'm hoping it's just a shoulder. He is running off, so that usually means it's only a couple days, maybe a couple weeks.
Another big shot and a block by Sanchez. Corner for them. This is getting dangerous here. They go deep. And that's over. Maybe make some changes here. Faria is wore out. Um, we'll bring Amaral in for him. And I'll hold on to my last sub just to see. Closely marked, but the header, nothing to write home about. Faria, not a bad debut. Um, Amaral, I think, can get some uh, passes in there that he couldn't. And fresh legs here will help. Hopefully. A lot of live football to come. Right the Cornick. And, and Cornick's already done a great move. Oh, Cornick taken down. Oh, he wasn't taken down. I'm really looking forward to that one. Oh, Morientes got beat on the side. To go in this one. And they're running down the side. I'm, I'm getting kind of nervous. Because our defense is giving them a lot of space. Oh, that was so lucky. Bro, we are trying to keep it. Ah, oh, we just... How many times have they come in for that hard challenge and we've just lost the ball? Oh, this is bad. They've got us really spread out here. Oh my God, they probably should have scored on that. Um, I'm going to bring Crispo in on the side just to get some speed over there. I, uh, oh no, not like this game. They're going to win right here, aren't they? Sanchez jumps on it. Well, that would have been the winner for sure. It's a great save. He'll punt that out. Over the touch line for a throw in. He'll get in a throw. I'm sure the ref will let him have a chance to tack. Party. That actually rolls out. And, the referee and that's going to be the game. A nil-nil draw against Crystal Palace. So no way I hear to put three or four on us. And we'll take a point from this game. They had 11 shots to our one. We played like trash. And that kind of shows you what happens when we don't have a strong midfield to really uh, elevate that. While our defense did well, we just couldn't move the ball up to our, our strikers. We also need to check and see how uh, Ribeiro is going to be. All right, Ribeiro, bruised shoulder, only five days. I can live with that. All right, we got a youth player who is unsettled. It's the goalkeeper, Tristan Bergman. I don't know if on my records I may have how much he's worth. No, I just have it. I think we just signed him. Yeah, I don't have an amount on him. So what I'll do is I'll call him up, and then we'll put him on the loan list and then let him go out. I'm sure a Fuo and DeVos will be the same way here soon with them being 18. Um, but this would be a good way to get him off our back for now and just uh, put him out for loan. He'll be fine. All right, Everton today on the road. Pickford in goal. Carvajal. Carvajal. Uh, Holgate, Diop, and Danilo in the back. They got a 4 4 1 1 going on here. Sambi Lokanga, uh, Dahound, Rodriguez, and Musiala, and then Moreno in the camera up in the midfield. Then Jimenez up front. Uh, we're kind of back. Sanchez and goal. Cambiaso, Royo, Carvajal, Morientes. So our back five there looking good. Alonso and Noradal in. Uh, Fernandez, Broya, Kornick, and Timberman. Now let's get this kicked off. We've got four points on today's episode. This is match three. And they are coming right at us. It's just uh, cut off the passing routes. They pass right through us. 
I was trying to switch to Alonso there. Sanchez does a save. Morientes probably just saved the goal. Hornick. Over to Nordahl. Oh, we just couldn't get to it. It was a nice thought. That wasn't even a through pass. That was a regular pass. And it just didn't work out for us. We look to come back here. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, three goals. Alonzo covering over on the side. Alonzo, great defense. With confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. It's in Fernandez dribbling down the middle. It's not who I wanted to pass to. That's not who I wanted to pass to. So the passing definitely not working out here today. And we've left the hole here. They didn't take advantage of it. Al oh, Alonzo had that, and then we just give it right back up. Morientes had that. Give that up. Alonzo again. Hornick. Oh, what a pass. Oh, and they'll just trap him. Move it up here. Armando Broya. Oh, he's tripped. That's got to be a free kick. And a yellow comes out. We're going to have a good one here. We'll see if we can take advantage of this. I kind of I kind of just went right through that because I knew he was going to fall and draw the foul. Sometimes you got to be smart. It's in Fernandez here. Oh! That was one of the closer ones I've had. If I would have went over, just probably right on where the keeper is standing, that would have went in. A few minutes before half. They made a move in. Oh my God, Royo puts his body on the line to block that. And I was trying to put that up to Fernandez, but it didn't work out there. Well, this is bad. Got to get a body in front of him. And Alonzo. Great job. Oh, we just couldn't get the pass. We tried. We tried to, we tried to find chances. And nothing's working out. Nil-nil as we go to the locker room. That. I don't, I don't see how you just lay on the ground. And it hits your arms. And they don't call it. Oh, this is a goal. We are way too spread out. He missed. I have no idea how, but he did. The game probably knew that that was bogus. Changes for both teams. Edson Fernandez out for us. We'll bring Thomas Kiss in. Let's go in the Ribeiro. <sighs> Ribeiro just bullied. They're really pressing here at the end of the game. Oh, they're going to give him a free kick, aren't they? Oh, good Lord. Not like this. And it misses. We're just going to send this one deep. We'll see what happens. Get over there, kiss. And that's going to be the game. Hard fought battle, nil nil. So we've been kind of stagnant in these last two games. I, I don't really know what to think about that. I don't think we played bad, but I don't think we played good either. Again, just one shot. We are not getting the ball forward to take shots. That's two games in a row where we've had one shot. That's not good. So just a little update. Nordahl has finished his development and he caps out at 76. 
So that may be something to keep in mind as we move forward. I know a lot of you really like him, but uh, I don't know. He may not be the answer going forward, but we've had him for a while, so we'll just have to see you. All right, last game of the day. We've got Newcastle United at home. Adoro in goal. Luco, Zapata, Faze, and Lewis in their back line. They're running a 4-4-2. Fjordrik, Traore, Traore, uh, oh my God, Kongdabia, and uh, Cordova. Dominguez and Rodriguez up front. I think they've heard us. That Vincent Dominguez, I think we looked at him at one point. So that's going to be tough on them. Crespo starting out back for us. Royal Carvalho Morientes. We got youngster Jake Garrett in at CDM. Nordahl, Fernandez, Broja, Cornick, and Thomas Kiss out on left wing. All right, we got the light blues and the greens here. And we need to really focus on getting the ball forward and getting some shots today. So I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Are we all up playing? Oh, that was a terrible thought. I don't know why I tried to have Carvajal make that play in the front. And they play this one way up. It's Morientes. I have no idea why he was creeping so forward. Good defense. Let's see if we can uh, play forward here. Promising attack this. Always difficult Ornick. to predict in advance who might Nord all but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Warnick again. The ball at his feet that makes him such Thomas a kiss. Go past defenders with ease. He can play in tight areas and he has that bit of Warnick, it's off of somebody. I think it may be on our own player. And they'll get a goal kick. Will be next. I must say this looks promising. They're playing well, they take a shot and they're gonna score. We are playing like trash this game. We've kicked the ball out of bounds. We've done everything. And it's just like, that was the easiest goal we've given up in 10 games, I bet. Like, the defense just doesn't shift over. He keeps watching that other guy that's out in no man's land. You got to close the window. You can't just let the air through. And we just let him take a big shot from deep. 1-0 Newcastle. The problem with this is, is we've just not been able to get the men forward to try to do anything. And that's exactly what happens. We'll get in the box and just everybody just kind of stands around. Cornick takes a shot and that's off somebody. So we'll get a corner here right before half. It'd be nice. They're already making a change. It must be for an injury. Oh, we had a chance. Royo couldn't bring it in. Oh, he just hit it at the wrong direction. It was the right trajectory. It was just the wrong way. Maybe a chance here. Cornick. Is it up to Thomas? And Thomas just gets bullied. We lose the ball. I was trying to go for the pass. I'm I'm starting to get frustrated with the way we're playing. And it's it's really starting to mess with me. Carvajal does a good job there. We're gonna go down in the locker room, down one nil. Have to come up with something to play better in the second half. Sanchez with a stop. And we're just playing like... You want to bring Fari in for Nordahl. You know what? I'll try it right now. We'll see if he could show us some kind of hidden ability. Nordahl's just not moving the ball well today. He's passing awful. They're bringing in, uh, taking out Rodriguez and bringing in Adley and Jacob Murphy. So they kind of get some good subs in. We'll hit Cornick here. He'll go up to Broya. And there's Cor Oh, no, it's off the post. Oh, my Lord. We had our chance right there. 
Oh, I'm going to be sick. 20 to play. Why did that pass go there? Well, that is how to run at defenders. This is bad. Well, I'll go for some changes here just to see if we can liven this up. I'll bring in Ribeiro. And Kiss hasn't done much on the side. You know what? Carvial's wore out. I'll bring in a Koto. 2 0 Newcastle leading. And again, our defending in the back. Sanchez running up there, just opened the door, and they just barely hit that in. But it counts all the same, 2-0, less than 20 to play. We'll see if Ribeiro can come in and work his magic. In the play or less here, the scoreboard is messed up, but it is still 2-0. And somehow they're just, they're getting these balls through. We just can't hold on to it. It's it's not going to matter. We're going to drop this one. So what, I five points on today's games? Oh no, this is Sanchez with a the save there. Two to play. Newcastle just really come out here today and played. Okay, I don't knock him down. Sanchez again. And we're in the extra time. If we could just survive. 2-0 would look so much better on the scoreline than 3 nil. Oh, my God. Like I said, I don't think we'll have a chance to attack here. Nope. Oh, we just, the last three games, our form has been trash, and it showed off right there, and we deserve to lose. And we'll just have to rebound, see where we're at on the table, and then move forward. We did have seven shots today, so that's an improvement. We just didn't put any of them in. And our defense played okay, but they just had two goals that count. So the transfer window has opened, and I totally forgot about something, that Faria is gone so we're gonna have to reorganize some stuff with our injuries i'm pretty sure that was a transfer transfer from what i remember we also got some updates worst comes to worst i'm gonna bring clifford afua up and let him play um because i think he could do okay playing both of those positions even though his defending is trash so we'll have to see. All right, so with the window open, I just want to give you all this. We have about $25,000, $25,000, million. Though more realistically, with wages, we probably got about $23 million that we could spend if we wanted to go out and get anybody. Um, going forward, I didn't want to look at other leagues. I wanted to look at our league and look at our calendar. We've got a tough month coming up here. We've got Man United on the road. Oh, and then we have Liverpool in a cup game. Now, what is, is this the FA Cup, round three? That is something I didn't see on the calendar before I moved it a couple days. That's a tough draw. That's going to be interesting. So a cup game against them, and then we got West Brom at home, and then Liverpool on the road. So two games against Liverpool on the road in the, in the FA Cup and in league play. And then the episode after that, we'll have Crystal Palace and close the window and then have Norwich, Everton, and Southampton. I feel like we've really just flipped the schedule around. So where we sit right now on the table is we set dead middle. We are 10th with 27 points. Three points out of ninth. Actually, three points out of eight, depending on how it goes. And then you can see the top teams there. Liverpool is second in the Premier League. So Man United is first. So we got some tough games coming up. Um, 
Southampton below us. Norwich is below us. Everton below us. Wait, I mean, Chris, it's we're gonna have to earn our keep. So I guess the thought process is here. Is let me double check on Faria to make sure he is actually gone, gone, and he is indeed. So we did sell him. So Danny Faria is gone. So that leaves Nordahl and nobody else to really come up for him in that position. So let's see here what we've got. Um, I mean, Bravo will be back, but they moved up Bergman. We don't want Bergman. I guess the only other, we got Incia, but he's 62. So maybe another midfielder that could play both of those spots. I'm not sure. Or maybe we look for a replacement for Nordahl. I'll let you all decide that and leave me some comments because we're we're going into the nitty gritty of the season coming up. So, yeah. I mean, we got Bravo and then Nordahl. Bravo's 80 overall, which he could be less when he comes back from injury. Landonetti's going to be, he'll be like 74, 75 when he comes back. And here we were going to sell Alonzo, so I'm not sure what to do now. So I will definitely leave that to you all to decide. So leave your comments and let me know. And then we'll get ready for a hellacious episode next time around because it's going to be rough. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button down below if you have not already. God bless, and don't forget to make good decisions. Special thanks to these September Patreon supporters. If they were a diet, I'd cheat on them, but then I'd regret it. Eccentric, Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Absher, Azur Rain, James Matisse, Kiana Handy, Party Commissar. If you'd like to join the Patreon supporters, click the link below.